Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Aditya from Skilllink here. Today's cars give you a lot of good features such as ADAS, telematics, infotainment systems, and essential safety features, right? All of this is possible with the in-vehicle embedded systems. Now, these embedded systems follow a distributed architecture with almost 80 plus electronic control units. Now, these electronic control units communicate with each other through CAN, LIN, and FlexRay communication protocols. Now, all of this will require almost 100 million lines of code. But developing this is not an easy task, neither is it difficult to learn these skills. So, if you're an embedded professional working in the domain and is looking for the next big leap, we have the program for you. In order to talk about this executive program in electric vehicle embedded software development, we have Jagan here, who is the Associate Director for the Embedded Domain at Skilling. All right, so Jagan, can you highlight a few features of this program? Yeah, so as you pointed out, a typical in-vehicle embedded system um, will have 100 million lines of code. Mm -hmm. And to develop, to verify, validate those uh, big software uh, repository, one requires to have a solid programming skill. So in our particular course that we are launching on Scaling Plus, we are starting with a refresher on C, C++ and covering the embedded essentials. So post that, we have a course on CAN communication protocol where we will highlight how do you use CAN for testing as well as we cover one solid example of CAN application using unified diagnostic service. Okay. Also, we will cover a particular tool called as peak systems. So then we take the participants through teaching multi-core microcontrollers, which is again a, a mandatory skill that is expected uh, across all the uh, tier one industries and OEMs. Okay. Then we are focus slightly shift towards the AutoSAR as well as the MBD. Okay. Could you tell me a bit more about what exactly this AutoSAR is? Yeah. So AutoSAR stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. If you consider uh, today's mobile phone, where application is created, as an independent software entity of the hardware. Mm -hmm. The same way automotive OEMs and tire ones are looking for their ECU software to be reusable okay. and portable as well as it should be configurable. For this, they come up with a standard called as AutoSAR. Okay. So uh, AutoSAR is all about taking the existing software that is sold as a stack and integrate that for your application. All right. So can anybody learn this and what are the prerequisites for it? So if you ask me about the AutoSAR prerequisite, I would say for, before that, let's understand uh, what is the layered architecture of AutoSAR. So the base, the, the first, very first layer is called as microcontroller abstraction layer, which is called as MCAL. On top of MCAL, you'll have ECU abstraction layer, services layer. Put together, put together all of this, you call it as base software. Okay. On top of base software, we will have a AutoSAR runtime environment and on top of the runtime environment we will have the AutoSAR applications running. So if you want to develop uh, integrate a stack following this uh, architecture one needs to know uh, a basic knowledge of multi-core programming multi-core microcontrollers as well as a real-time operating system and a solid uh, C programming development experience. Okay. So these are the key prerequisites. So that's the way that we have arranged our course flow. Okay. So we start the program with C programming, then CAN communication system, then multi-core. So then we bring the AutoSAR. Okay. That's the reason of arranging AutoSAR as the third or fourth course okay. in this okay. program. Okay. That sounds good. So now we've spoken a lot about AutoSAR. Now where does MBD fit in? Yeah, that's a nice question. So in this whole cycle, if you see, I, I have told that AutoSAR application, the end application, uh, which is running above the runtime environment. This application is also a C program. But these applications are very, very a requirement specific driven by the OEM, which is most of the times developed by a OEM or tire one. Let's say um, an application that's very common uh, that's running in the instrument cluster ECU, which calculates the distance to empty parameter okay. or which calculates SOC of an electric vehicle. Okay. So this is an end application. So this end application is modeled 
and converted into a C code and verified validated mm-hmm. in the model based development approach. Okay. So we use tools like Simulink, State Flow, and um, embedded code, a target link to convert the model into the code okay. so that these code again can run on top of the runtime application or runtime environment okay. in the AutoSAR architecture. So it is to put in a simple term, the the core base software is following the AutoSAR architecture and the application software is coming from the MBD tools. So you've heard it from the man himself. The whole program focuses on AutoSAR and MBD, which has a lot of job opportunities. It is projected to have at least 13,000 job openings in 2023 alone in India. In order to prepare yourself for these job opportunities, Skilllink through Skilling Plus is offering the executive program in electric vehicle embedded software development. Now, this program offers 22 weeks of live online classes on the weekends suited for you. All of this is possible within the comfort of your own home because we provide all the software that is required for you to work on it. Now, what are you waiting for? You can schedule a demo session with us to know more about the program. Thank you all for joining. Have a good day.